What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Buster Bookie Show. Today is Thursday, September 5th, going over my best plays in Major League Baseball. If this is your first time here, welcome to the Buster Bookie Show. What we do here, we give you our expert plays along with the opportunity for a $40 giveaway. If you would like to qualify, all that you need to do, number one, subscribe to the channel. You have to be a subscriber. Number two, comment below, 4 and oh, Give us the good vibes that we need to sweep the card. And number three, like the video. If you do all that and we sweep going 4-0, and oh, I'll cash up somebody 40 bucks. We did it two days ago in baseball. We did it two days ago also in WNBA. And I did it on my NFL show yesterday that I posted. We give away money all the time when we sweep. That's what I love to do on this show. All right, four plays to go over. We went two and two in our plays yesterday, uh, three and one the day before that. So we are doing solid right now. Let's go for a 4 0 sweep today. This first game is very early, and we've got two plays in this game. We're talking about the Houston Astros, 75 and 64, taking on the Cincinnati Reds, 67 and 73, 12 10 Central Time. Again, this one's early. If you need to fast forward and get both these plays in, go ahead and fast forward this video so you don't miss out on it. Okay, the first play that we're doing is a parlay. We're looking at Hunter Brown, the righty on the year, 11-7 and record, 3.55 ERA, 1.29 whip, 155 Ks and 147 innings pitched. And what we're looking at here are going to be his total outs, 18 and a half. We are taking the under here. But it is pretty juicy, so we are going to be combining this with another leg for the parlay. Under 18.5. Now, Brown has hit this under in 13 straight road games this season. This is a guy that does not pitch as well on the road. His splits definitely show that. 88% hit rate on the season, averaging a low of 16.38 outs a game when you talk about him on the road. That's more than two outs on average that he's getting on the road compared to uh, the number right here of 18.5. Brown averages more hits allowed a game and earn runs a game on the road. As I mentioned, the story of this one is his ability or inability to really go deeper into games on the road. So we are taking under 18 and a half outs as the first part of the parlay. We're going to be combining that with a money line play. You guys know I've been uh, liking this strategy. We're looking at the Colorado Rockies, 51 and 89, going against the Braves, who are 76 and 63. This game's 620 Central Time. And we're taking the Braves' money line. They are minus 265. If you put both these together, it should be, I think I got it at plus like 105. So should be right around even, maybe even plus money for you guys. But I really like this pitching matchup. We were on the Braves yesterday, they did win. And, you know, the Rockies are a very bad team. Braves are one of the better ones. But I really like the pitching matchup here. You've got Lopez, 8-4 and four on the year, 2.0 ERA, 125 Ks, and only 121.2 innings pitched. Going against Austin Gombert, who is 4-10 with a 4.69 ERA, 102 strikeouts, and 144 innings pitched. We just need the Braves to win. They've got the way better pitching matchup. They've got a way better team. We need them to win, and we need Hunter Brown under 18 and a half outs. That'll be our first play of the day, taking that as a parlay. All right, staying on the Astros-Reds game. We're looking at the opposing pitcher. Rhett Louder does not have a whole lot of experience this year. 0-1 record, 2.25 ERA, 1.5 whip, six strikeouts, and four innings pitched. And we're going to be looking at here, it's going to be his total outs, 14.5. I got this at plus 115 this morning. We are taking the under. Now, it's not many outs, but I think this is a good situation, especially at plus money. I would often look at his strikeouts here, but his stuff has shown to be uh, you know, pretty decent as far as his strikeout ability. So I do like his total outs being under here. When you look at Houston, seventh in weighted runs created and eighth in OBP versus right-handed pitching this season. This is a tough matchup for Louder. He failed to go over this line versus Milwaukee, and I would argue that Houston is a better offense overall. Really struggled with his command in this first game. This really benefits us um, if this continues. He did have decent command in the minors, but we know that this is a, a step up for him. 
If he hits the zone against Houston, they will have their bats on the ball. I think they're going to hit him up pretty hard and pretty early here. Houston has seven hitters above average when you look at their average against right-handed pitching. So I love this here. This is a very inexperienced player. He got banged up in his first matchup going against a weaker opponent here. I'm expecting the same, even more so, out of Houston. At plus money, I love it. Lock it in. We're taking louder, under 14 and a half outs at plus money as our second play of the day. All right, play number three, we're looking at the Philadelphia Phillies, 83 and 56, taking on the Miami Marlins, 52 and 87. And the pitcher we're looking at here is Ranger Suarez, the lefty on the year, 11 and 6 record, 3.02 ERA, 128 strikeouts in 128.1 innings pitched. We're looking at his total outs as well here, 17 and a half, and we are taking the over. I got this in at minus 130. Now, I think this is a good spot to back Ranger here, who should be close to fully ramped up after throwing 78 pitches in his last start. I think he's going to get 90-plus pitches in this game. And he's getting a good matchup here, going against the Marlins team that has the lowest pitches per plate appearance number, second lowest OPS and weighted runs created number, and third lowest walk rate versus left-handed pitching. When you're a team that just doesn't walk a whole lot, it allows pitchers, obviously, to go deeper into games. They don't have to throw as many pitches. Before his injury, Suarez was over this line in 13 out of 17 games. He's been a good pitcher all season long. 3.21 expected ERA and 3.09 when you look at fielding independent of pitching. He also has a very good ground ball rate. So, you know, his line is often at 18 and a half. Uh, he is basically fully back after his injury here. We're getting a good matchup, not very juicy. Give us Suarez over 17 and a half total outs as our third play. And our fourth and final play now, we're looking at the Diamondbacks, 79 and 61, taking on the San Francisco Giants, who are 68 and 72, 245 central time. And we're looking at the lefty, Mr. Blake Snell. He's had a very interesting year. Two and three record, 3.56 ERA, 1.08 whip, 114 strikeouts in 86 innings pitched. This is a big time strikeout pitcher. He's really had it going on, especially as of lately. You know, since July, you can make a case for him being arguably the best pitcher in all of baseball. He's got a 1.30 ERA, 0.75 whip, and a batting average allowed of only 118. We're talking about just in July. Very impressive, but when you dig deeper, I think these numbers are a bit inflated due to some very easy matchups that he's had. Looking at some of these teams that he's faced since July and their ranks versus left-handed pitching since July 1st. You got the Blue Jays, 22nd in weighted runs created. Twins, 24th. Dodgers, 17th. They had two runs against Snell. Rockies, 29th. Reds, 28th. I can go on and on about some of these teams that he went against. We are looking at his earned runs in this one 1.5 we are taking the over this is a low you know era number but we know snell is one of the best i got this at minus 120 and i think this is a good situation for him to get banged up a little bit he's going against a tougher opponent here in the diamondbacks as i said one of the better teams at 79 and 61 and this is a tough matchup for him in July, besides the Braves, Snell only performed at an elite level against bottom 10 offenses in Major League Baseball versus left-handed pitching. So he's not this, you know, unhittable pitcher that some have really made him out to be. He's definitely had some big games. He had a no-hitter in there. But we got to really take into account the opponents that he's been going against. So I like this going over one and a half runs against the Diamondbacks for Blake Snell as our fourth and final play. That's going to wrap it up. Here's a recap on all four of our plays. The first one is a parlay. We're taking Brown under 18 and a half combined with the Braves money line. Then we are taking Louder under 14 and a half total outs. We're taking Suarez over 17 and a half outs and then over one and a half earned runs for Blake Snell as our four plays for today. Set your notifications. We've got our college football and NFL shows coming out. My individual NFL show I just posted, as well as my college football show. And then we've got our group shows coming out later on this weekend as well. If you'd like to qualify for the giveaway in this video, don't forget to subscribe. Comment below 4-0. Give us the good vibes. And number three, like the video.
You do all that and we sweep. I'll cash up somebody 40 bucks. Our motto on the show is to bust your bookie. Two and two is what we went yesterday. Let's go for the 4-0 sweep today.